Hi everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome back to Candle Crazed. So today for you I have my September... I can never talk so it doesn't even shock me that I couldn't say September. I have my September empties for you. I, in my opinion, I finished a lot of candles this month. I'm very proud of myself. My stash is getting smaller and smaller, which is good because then I can buy more later on. Not right now. But I have a bunch of candles and I also have a little baggie full of other things as well. I think there's candles in there too. So lots of stuff to go through. But I'm just going to give you a mini review of each scent, talk about how it burned, the scent, and if I would repurchase it. So let's get started. The first one that I have for you guys today is a large pure radiance in the scent Denim from Yankee Candle. Um, so first off, how did it burn? Well, you can obviously see that it left so much residue on this glass, like it's actually disgusting. If you, I don't know if you can tell, but like it's really gross. It left so much. Didn't have a lot of soot though, which actually it had like no soot, which is great, but left so much residue it just looked like a dirty candle the whole time it was burning I did not like that um scent wise it smells so good it's very clean to me it smells like um wet jeans which people probably like ew like that's disgusting but I like it I don't know um this was my favorite pure radiance but now honestly after burning this one and also a medium a while back I'm kind of over it I I I think I would repurchase this in the future, maybe in a smaller size, not in this large jar, but I don't know. I'm not sure. It's definitely good for the summer, but I just figured I would finish it in September because I only had, I think, a half a jar left when I finished it. So, strength. It was very strong in the beginning. I'd say from the start all the way till about here, and then from here down, it wasn't really that strong, so I just kind of paired it with other things to finish it, but... um. I don't know, it was pretty good. Overall, I'd give this candle a 6 as a rating. So, that was Denim. Next is my Yankee Candle Star Spangled Trio. And the scents were Black Cherry, Sugared Apple, and Berry Licious. So, obviously, you can see this one looks disgusting. Um, <laughs> that's because I put this on the warmer, and I poured the wax out every so often um, just to get a clear jar. But... Okay, well, first of all, when I burned this candle, I actually burned it in the summer on 4th of July, and it took forever to pull. The black cherry on the top was not very strong, and I had it in a bathroom, and it just, I had it burning for, I'd say, like, eight hours, and it didn't even completely pull, and that is ridiculous. So, I was so upset with how this burned, um, pool-wise, and also scent throw, but when I put it on the warmer... The scent was so good. It wasn't strong. Like, I couldn't smell it at all. But when I stood over it, I could really get a lot of the sugared apple. And I'd say a little bit of the Berrylicious. I didn't really get much black cherry at all. So that was kind of disappointing. But, um, yeah, even on the warmer, it wasn't super strong. So I don't think I would repurchase this one. So the next one that I bought is called Lemon Zest. And this was also one that I threw in the warmer. Um, I burned it about halfway down, and then after that, I couldn't smell it. I had this one burning, and actually, I had lemon pound cake burning with it. <clears throat> and I couldn't smell any lemon in my room. Like, whatsoever. Nada. Then I decided to throw this one on the warmer, and that is when it became, like, insanely strong. It was so good on the warmer. Now, a lot of people think that lemon zest smells like pledge but honestly it doesn't it just smells like a sweet um like zesty lemon like lemon zest with like sugar put on top that's what it smells like it was so so good so if I could find this in tarts or even votives I think I would buy it and put it in my warmer but I don't think I'll ever buy a large jar again um but it is a really good lemon scent when put on the warmer, not when burning, because like I said, I couldn't smell anything. So that's lemon zest. And then along with that, I burned lemon pound cake. Now you probably are thinking that there's so much left. How is this an empty? Listen. So I bought this one 
because a coworker, hashtag Craigie, you lied to me, said it was so strong. No, I could not smell this thing. I stood over it and I could barely smell it. It was horrible. I put it on the warmer halfway through, still couldn't smell it. I was so upset with this one because on cold, it smells amazing. It's, oh my gosh, it smells so good. But it was just horrible. And this one even did have some sitting, oh, let me take the lid off. Ah! It just like rained lemon cake. Um, this one did have some sitting problems on this, on the top. The lemon zest did not. But this one was just an overall disappointment, and I'm kind of over it. I would never purchase this one again. Sorry, lemon pound cake, but I just wouldn't. All right, let's move to the bag of goodies here. So the first one that I'll show you from my bag is my little Mother Ocean pillar. Now, obviously, I have a lot left that I could have burned, but my wick, like, fell to the side when I blew it out one time. It was fine the whole way down. The wick was fine. I trimmed it a little bit here and there, but this last time I burned it, I just blew it out, and it fell over into the liquid. So... Um, the liquid wax so I couldn't save it but if I had like if I break I would definitely break this off and put it in a milk cup and make a milk cup out of it because this is such a good scent this one was so strong it was crazy strong it overpowered denim it was amazing oh my gosh it smells so good I really wish I would have gotten more time out of this one but it just kind of finished itself so all right next I have a baby jar in turquoise sky now this one, this was my first experience with Turquoise Sky ever. It is a good scent. It's very fresh, very strong. But towards the end, it started smelling like Stormwatch. And I recently discovered that I don't like Stormwatch from Yankee. I thought I did, but burning it, it just made me feel sick and I got a headache. And towards the end, this started smelling like that. And I got really upset because now I kind of don't want to ever buy this again, <laughs> which is so upsetting. Um, burn quality, it did leave some residue on the jar, but it burned all the way down, so that was really nice. I got the full amount out of it, um, and then with this one, there really wasn't too much soot, so that was really nice. Um, but that is Turquoise Sky. But the picture is beautiful, and not to get into this, but in the new labels, I don't know how they're gonna, like, what are they gonna do with that label? Because it's gorgeous on this, so... We'll see. It's probably going to be un ugly on the new label, but whatever. All right. Next, I have an empty little small tumbler of actually a candle that I made myself. So a while back, my mom got me a candle making kit because I'm literally obsessed with candles. And I made a candle of Bahama Breeze. I got the warming oils from Yankee and just mixed it with the wax that I had to make in the pot. It's like a little kit. You melt wax. I, they give you scents to melt, but I didn't want, like, they only gave me vanilla. I didn't want vanilla. So, like I said, I just got the warming oil, added that to the wax, and then I poured it in here. This, you can't tell because I took the wax out, but this burned horribly. It tunneled the whole time. No matter how much I let it burn, it tunneled, and the scent was not strong enough. I mean, I made it. What are you going to do? Like, I could have added more oil, but it just wasn't very strong. It left a lot of wax residue. It was just nasty, so... I mean, I can't really say much because it's not like I got this from a company. I made it myself. So I just wanted to add that in. It kind of smells like Bahama Breeze, but it's like a very, very faint Bahama Breeze. So upsetting. But anyway, I'm glad that one's done. All right. Next, I have a milk cup of Autumn in the Park. So this is just like a fresh, crisp Macintosh. And I'm going to reuse the cup. That's why the wax isn't in it. So, oh my gosh, this was one of my favorite new fall scents last year. I tried it in a car jar and I loved it. So I paired this one with my apple candle that's actually burning over there still. It's not finished, but this was. It's a very, very light apple, so it's good for a couple hours, but I really couldn't smell it much after more than like two days, but it was good. Yes, I would definitely buy this again. It's really, really refreshing and crisp, and I like it for the beginning of fall because that's, I feel like that's kind of when the leaves are changing and you get that crisp, cool air. So, um, this was really, really nice, and the picture is gorgeous. I love that. So, that is Autumn in the Park. Next, 
finished, I finished this in the beginning of, the very, very beginning of September, I finished a crinkle wax melt in watercolors. Now this one, whoa, hello. To me, it kind of smells like um, Jamaican Vacation from Yankee Candle, if you've ever smelled that one, it's in the same collection as Mother Ocean. But that's kind of what it smells like. This was very, very light. I forget what I paired this with, but it was very light. It's kind of like a fresh, perfumey, and sweet fruit. Like, it's not perfumey where you'll get a headache from it, but it's just, I don't know. It's just, like, sweet and fresh. I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. Wouldn't buy it again just because it wasn't amazing. It didn't wow me. All right. I told you guys I have a lot. Next, I finished a votive in Sunflower from Yankee Candle. This one was so good. Like, I actually want a large jar in this, even though I'll probably never find it. I burned this with the lemon. I burned this votive with two lemon large jars, and I could smell this over both of them. That's how strong this one was, and that's how sucky those were. Um, but, yes, I burned this one. It was absolutely amazing. I'm not a huge floral fan, but I'm starting to like more of them, and this one is definitely going to be one of my favorites. If I can find this again in a small tumbler, a large tumbler, whatever, I'm going to grab it because it's really, really good. It smells very authentic. All right, next. Actually, I'm still burning this, so this is kind of a lie, but Forbidden Apple. I might be one of the only people in the whole world that doesn't like this scent. I like it on cold a lot, it smells so good on cold, but when I burned it, I was, oh, I just got like this nasty odor from it, and I didn't like it, so I don't think I would repurchase this in anything, which is very upsetting, because it does smell amazing on cold, but I don't know, and honestly, for me, it wasn't super, super strong, Even I mean, I just have it in a votive, but still, it wasn't super, super strong, and I don't think I would repurchase it, so that's that one. Next, I have an Autumn in the Park tart, which I paired with the Melt Cup, just to make it a little bit stronger. So that one. Then I have two boxes of tea lights. The first one I finished is Strawberry Lemon Ice from Yankee. I've been really getting into tea lights lately, and there was a sale on them recently, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to stock up on a bunch, see if I like them. So I got Strawberry Lemon Ice. I paired this with the two lemons. And this one was also so much stronger than they were, so it was really good. Um, when this was burning in the store, it gave me a headache, but when I burned it at home, for some reason, it was fine. So, this was really, really good. It's so strong. It's perfect for summer or, like, the end of summer because it just kind of gives you, like, a nice, refreshing kind of feel. So, I like this one. I definitely recommend it, and I would definitely purchase these again. And then next I have Jamaican Vacation, which I actually just talked about. Um, it smells similar to watercolors. This one is so fruity and good. It kind of smells like punch, like fruit punch. Yeah, that one smells good. Um, I actually paired this, oddly enough, I paired it with a candle in here that for some reason I forgot the name of. I don't know why. Oh, Spiced Pomegranate Cider, because I finished that one. But I paired this with Spiced Pomegranate Cider because I just felt like it needed more fruit. And at the moment, or in the store, there wasn't really any, like, super fruity scents besides the strawberry lemon ice. I was going to do cranberry chutney with it, but I was like, you know what, let's just try these out. So these were not super strong. I could smell them if I was near them, but if I walked away, I couldn't really smell it. Um, I probably wouldn't purchase it again just because of that whole fact of not being super, super strong. But it was good. It was definitely smelled exactly like it did on cold. It just wasn't strong enough for me. So, there's that. Alright, and then like I just talked about, we have a three wick of spiced pomegranate cider. Oh my gosh, this one smells so good. Yum, okay. But it did give me some issues. So when I first started burning this, it was so strong. It filled up my entire room. And I was like, wow, this is going to be great. It's such a good scent. It's not too spicy. And I just really, really like it. I wouldn't necessarily say that I got pomegranate out of it. I don't 
exactly know what pomegranate is supposed to smell like because every pomegranate candle I've ever smelled smells different. But this was just a really good spiced cider scent. Um, I definitely think I like this more than apple cider at Yankee, which I know it's two different fruits, but I, I don't know. I just really like this. Um, anyway, the, the problem it gave me, I mean, there's a lot of residue. It was kind of nasty. Not too much soot, though, which was really good. The major problem that I had with this candle was that it was on and off strong. So like I said, it started out so, so strong, I was in love with it. And then I'd say maybe on the third burn, I couldn't really smell it. It was so upsetting. Like, I got a little hint of spice here and there in my room. And my room's not that big. Like, it's really not. Um, I don't know. It was just on and off strong. It was strong some days. Then other days, I couldn't smell it. It was never a constant. So that is the only problem I have with this candle. It is an A8. Now, I don't know what that stuff means. So if somebody wants to explain that to me in the comments, you'd be amazing. So it's an A8. Maybe that's why, maybe it's not, I have no clue, maybe that's not even relevant, I don't know. But this one, um, I honestly, I would purchase it again just because I love the scent. But, I don't know, for me it wasn't like spectacular, except for the first burn. So, we'll have to see in the future, maybe I'll pick it up again. And the last thing I have to finish for September was my London Tea and Lemon. This is my absolute favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Um, this one has always been a strong thrower for me, but the last half of this candle was like dead. I didn't get anything out of it. I was so upset. And I don't know if it's because it sat around for a while between burns or something, but in the beginning it was crazy strong and my other ones in the past have been crazy strong, but the halfway down point to the end was just kind of like... Eh, not strong, but it's still one of my favorites. I will definitely purchase this in the future because it's just such a good lemon tea scent. And the one on this one is A4. So honestly, if somebody wants to explain to me the understanding behind all of that stuff, please do because I don't know what A4, or A8, or A1 means. I don't know what is the best or the worst. So someone let me know. But Definitely recommend this if you like lemon. I did end up pairing this a little bit with the other two lemon, and obviously it overpowered it. But like I said, it was kind of still very light. So whatever doesn't matter to me, I'll still buy it in the future because it is my favorite. So good. Yum. Okay, but that is all my empties. I am so sorry for how long this video was, but I told you guys I had a lot. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And the next video I will be doing is going to be a haul, because even though Caitlin's on a candle ban, she buys candles. So, what are you going to do? Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.